what's up you guys I'm at work <laughs> but on my lunch break I did an impromptu haul so we're just gonna go through this stuff at my desk hopefully the phone doesn't ring <laughs> oh I need to look over here <laughs> so what do we get and of course this stuff is gonna be for my altar space We got a broken Ganesh, but he's gonna work. Elephant, spirit animal, you know how it goes. You know how I am with the elephants. And he was $1.99, Ganesh. His will is broken, but it's okay. I went to the store to see if I could find it, but it's broken. But I'm just gonna smudge it and put my little intentions on it, and he's super cute. It's Ganesh. Okay. So on the new moon, I made a money jar. I did my whole meditation, and I did my money jar thing, and it started working immediately. <laughs> it started working immediately. So y'all see me make this bottle, my money jar, last night, not 12 hours ago, right? So I'm laying in bed with my husband this morning, and he's like, my silver is popping. And I'm like, yeah, your grays do look nice, you look nice, huh? He's like, no, <laughs> not my hair. He said, our stock in silver, it went up. We made a hundred bucks before we even woke up this morning. It's already working. It's already working. You hear that money coming to me? It's already working. <laughs> so now I'm obsessed with um, kind of putting herbs and oils and spices together for like little spells and stuff. So I went in there and I saw all these little things that could help me out with that. So. I have um, sage and thyme and rosemary and stuff that I just need cute things to keep it in. So I got this. And it's like I get a bunch of witchy stuff and I said before on my channel that I'm not a witch. And uh, witches was mad. <laughs> it was like, witch please, you are literally in the closet. We're in a closet. If you didn't know that. <laughs> so because I do, I do, I do a lot of witchy stuff. But if you, if you ask me what type of witch I am, 99 cents for this lovely spice or whatever thing I'm going to use it for. But um, if you ask me what type of witch I am, I couldn't tell you. So um, I was only denying it from a place of ignorance. It's not because I'm against the witchy community. You guys, I love you guys. I use your spits all the time. <laughs> But if you ask me, like, what type of witch are you? A, a nice one, I guess. Because um, I do lunar stuff. I do uh, earth magic stuff. I do um, ocean stuff. So I couldn't really pinpoint down what type of witch I am. So I am sorry for offending the witchy community by saying that I don't subscribe. Because I half-ass do subscribe. Look at this. I'm gonna put like little cinnamon sticks in it or something or I don't know but it's going in the altar 99 cents look at that and that's gonna last forever what else did I get What type of magic potion am I gonna make with this? Look at this thing, look at it. First, let's take this off because it is like, look at that. And it looks all, it's got that old vibe to it. I like things that are old. But uh, yep, I'm just gonna smudge the shit out of this as well. And I don't know what type of, I might use this for um, 
holding my Florida water on my altar because I like to splash them with a little water on my hands before I do readings and before I like to do spells and pray and just kind of open and close things out. I'm supposed to be looking over there <laughs> but to open and close things out and kind of cleanse my space and cleanse my tools I use a lot of Florida water so I may be using this for like my altar space Florida water container. Look at that. 99 cents. It's just a whole bunch of that shit, you guys. <laughs> Hold on. And then a whole case more. But the box is all messed up because it's a it's a thrift shop. But I got this whole thing, this set of four, and is this all four elements? So we have earth, we have water. We have fire. We've got air, you guys. <laughs> We've got all the elements. I just realized that right now. So I am really gonna be doing some, I sound like a witch right now. <laughs> now I see why you guys were mad. Cause I do sound like a witch. But um, okay. So this one's, I gotta figure this one out. I don't know. I'll, figure, I'll figure out the water. I'll figure out the water. Recycle this. Two ninety nine. Oh, a dollar ninety nine. Did they upsell me? What was this price right here? Yellow tag. Two nine. Did they upsell me? <laughs> Go get my dollar back. Okay, look at those guys. So if you guys have any ideas on what I can use these little potion bottles for, and if you guys have these little potion bottles and you use them for something in particular, let me know because right now it's a spiritual practice so I'm just going to use it for my own personal, I think I put this on wrong. <laughs> That's, that's not going right. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any advice or anything that you guys do with these types of things, I'm just going to use the like spices and oils so far. Uh, this little guy. Probably use them for cinnamon sticks. But I need to figure out a really good, like, elemental way to use these because this is still right here that I'm just now figuring out <laughs> that I bought all four elements here. In these containers, but yeah, those are gonna get smudged. And this just popped out at me. And these things are fucking expensive on Amazon. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. $2.99. So, uh, I might decorate this, but I might just keep it white because white is protective and pure. But again, I'm smudging the shit out of it. So, <laughs> I always like, to, well, it's always important to smudge everything, especially if you're putting in your altar space and you're using it for like, um, your own manifestation and, and rituals and spells just like a witch it's important to keep things clean and rid uh rid in because it's a thrift shop so a million hands have probably touched these things i'm okay i've got my protective bracelet on so i'm not picking up any of that energy i'll be all right oh and i needed a new tarot bag so dun dun dun, dun. i got a new tarot bag isn't it cute I'm particular about the materials that I pick up and the colors that I picked up. I had a black purse for years and it just kept me down, that energy. So um, I needed a bright energy. Because the bag that I've got right now is raggedy. <laughs> I keep bags forever. This is my um, Lily Bloom bag. It's made out of um, 
recycled water bottles. And that's why I love this bag so much and it's got little sea turtles on it. But I've had it forever and ever and ever. And I keep this bag inside of this bag, which makes things difficult. This is where I keep all my bootleg decks. And a protective bracelet and a selenite to kind of protect myself while I'm getting readings with these decks. But this container is my daughter's and she's 15 going on 16 and she doesn't like when I take her stew. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to give her back her little her little bag, her little makeup bag. And this bag cost me, let's see. $6.99 for this bag. I'm going to put these in here and this is going to be my new tote around tarot bag. This one. So um, I think that's it. That was my impromptu hippie haul at Jubilee thrift shop, I spent $20.82. It's not like the dollar store to where everything's a dollar, so um, that's annoying. <laughs> but um, $20.82 for stuff that's gonna like last forever and probably manifest way more than $20. <laughs> uh, it's a steal of the deal. So um, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do with my Ganesh and his broken will, but he's probably just gonna go up with my other little deity statues and stuff, but just need some of that energy in my altar space. All right, so leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know what you guys think I should do with these little elemental bottles here. I need to figure out this blue one. I put it on wrong, I think, but, um, or maybe I didn't. Oh, I didn't. Hey. <laughs> Let me know what I should do with these earth, air, wind, and uh, earth, water, air, and fire jars. I can't wait to use this thing and this for my Florida water. Florida water. I like saying that. Florida water. <laughs> this for my alder space Florida water container. All right, guys, that is it. I will see you guys next time. I am taking a week-long break from reading to recharge and re-energize. So I will see you guys next week when I start the Seven Chakras Made Simple series. I was going to call it the Chakras and Shit series, but I don't want to have to say that for seven days. <laughs> and plus, you guys know I cuss, right? You guys get it. You get it. So, um, yes, I'm taking a week sabbatical so I can... Uh, um, make sure that I'm recharging and that I'm doing my own healing and self-care because if I'm not okay, then I can't make sure you guys are okay. Until next time, you guys have a wonderful day and be mindful of your growth. Watch them grow, perceive devote. This is the seed, light the show. Watch them grow.